name is Mary Halverson. I'm a guitarist and composer, and I'm going to talk a little bit about free improvisation. My background is in jazz. I grew up listening to jazz. I studied jazz in school, and I also play a lot of other types of music. And free improvisation is, is something that I do quite often. And for me, one big puzzle that I've been working on over the past several years is how to incorporate some of the jazz that I've learned into a freer setting. In terms of my own guitar playing, I felt like there had been a split. So I had a way I would play standard jazz and I had a certain way I would improvise and those things weren't really connected. And when I would try to connect them, it would usually be a big failure. One day, several years ago, I had a gig playing standards in a restaurant. So I had three sets of, of standards to play. And then right after that, I had two sets of free improv gig. When I got to that free improv gig, the, the standards and all the harmonic, melodic material from those standards were, were so ingrained in my head. And then I was in a situation where I was doing free improvisation for a couple hours. And it was on that day that I felt, I felt like it actually clicked, that I could use some of that material in a non-traditional way, but still using a lot of these chords, arpeggios, scales that I learned uh, when studying jazz. So how do you do this? A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take some chords and maybe rearrange them almost like I've cut and, cut and pasted them. Like maybe they're not in the same sequence that they were. Maybe they're not in time. Maybe you stick on one for a long time before moving to another. And I think having a good ear is, is really important in this situation because if you're playing that kind of thing with other musicians, you're doing it completely by ear. You hear someone go to a different chord, then maybe you go to that chord as well. But it's really tricky and I think it doesn't always sound good. And, I, and one thing that I found is that you need to be okay with failing. <laughs> maybe you, you play something, it really doesn't sound good. So that's okay, so you learn something and then you can, you can try again. But if you don't experiment when you're trying to accomplish something, you're probably not gonna get there. I'm gonna play a little example of an improvised chord melody on guitar using some scales and chords that are more traditional, um, but piecing them together in an improvised fashion. <laughs> 